The invasion hasn't begun and looks unlikely to occur anytime soon, but the robots are already taking over. Not only can they beat us at chess and go, but they also hold a variety of world records that humans will never be able to match. From missions in space to the deepest depths of our oceans, robots are able to operate in the most hostile of environments. And we've got a list of robots that hold world records that's sure to leave you impressed. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all our latest and most exciting content. Fanuc M2000 IA1200 When the Fanuc robot was built, it put its predecessor, the KUKA Titan, to shame. KUKA's was able to handle a payload of 1,000 kilograms, which is pretty insane in its own right, but Fanuc is bigger and better than KUKA in almost every way. Not only is it the world's largest six-axis, but it's also able to handle the largest payload ever, up to 1,200 kilograms. Now that's a ton of power, and means that this particular robot holds two very impressive records. We're sure that this record will be aced in due time, as robotics in the robotics industry keeps coming out with improvements. But that doesn't make the Fanuc any less impressive. Wave Glider. The Wave Glider is an amazing machine and is a really cool concept to boot. It was built to glide along the surface of the ocean, skimming the waves. It is eventually supposed to handle a range of tasks, and the team that built the glider is confident that it has plenty of amazing applications. To begin with, it will help us monitor our oceans, and it's ridiculously effective at covering vast distances without missing a beat. The trip that first gained its notoriety also earned the craft a world record for the longest trip by an unmanned autonomous surface vehicle. In total, the wave glider effortlessly traveled a distance of 14,703 kilometers. It was able to achieve this feat by using solar power to maintain its systems, along with the movement of the waves around it to generate propulsion. This combination allows the wave glider to remain operational for long periods of time, and the distances it covers are equally impressive. Kirobo. Kirobo is another robot that managed to set not one, but two world records when it was first put into action. It's a humanoid companion robot, and its arrival on board the International Space Station marked the first time a companion robot was launched into space, as well as the first robot to have a conversation in space. It's also seen as the winner of the companion robot's highest altitude conversation prize. But we think space takes priority here, and highest altitude is just a technicality anyway, considering the fact that the conversation happened while the robot was in orbit. Jason. A fairly well-known little submersible named Jason is not only a minor celebrity in the field of deep sea exploration, but it also holds a record of its own to back up its years of experience. It turns out that back in 2009, Jason managed to stumble across a deep sea volcanic eruption in progress and picked up footage of the display. The West Mata Volcano, located in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Samoa, was quite the sight. At a depth of 1.2 kilometers below the surface of the ocean, this footage earned Jason the title of the deepest observation of a volcanic eruption, which is a world record that's going to be impossible for any human to beat. Canadarm 2. The Canadarm 2 was probably overjoyed to find out that it was going to be joined aboard the ISS by Kirobo. While Kirobo holds two records, the Canadarm 2 has held its title much longer, 
and its job is much more crucial to the operation of the ISS in its entirety. This is the case because the Canadarm2 is the largest robotic arm in space, and it's used for everything from maintenance to repair. The Canadarm2 has been in operation for quite some time now, and it's done its job brilliantly since it was first installed. It looks like it will continue to be used for a long time to come, so it's very much the heavyweight robot on the ISS. CubeStormer 3 Rubik's cubes aren't difficult to solve if you know the tricks involved, but doing so quickly is another thing entirely. The fastest person to solve a Rubik's Cube managed to do so in 